Welcome to the Playbook Social NFL Show. Today I'll be discussing why I think the Chicago Bears will turn some heads this year and maybe even make the playoffs. The Chicago Bears recently shocked the world by trading for disgruntled Raiders defensive end Khalil Mack. A lot of people viewed this trade as a win for the Bears, and I agree. The two first-round picks they gave up will most likely never amount to a player equal to Khalil Mack, and they also received a second-round pick for their troubles. Let's get into what will make the Bears good next season. Mitch Trubisky is learning, and mistakes are to be expected when learning. In 12 games last year, Mitchell Trubisky threw 7 interceptions as well as 7 touchdowns. This is bound to change as QBs tend to get considerably better after their rookie year. Dan Fouts, who is a renowned QB, started 6 games for the Chargers in 1973, his rookie year. He threw more than double the interceptions that Mitchell Trubisky threw, as he threw 15. He also threw 6 touchdowns, one less. And he only started 6 games compared to Mitchell Trubisky's. So, Mitchell Trubisky's uh, 12 games. Troy Aikman, one of the QB's best, one of the best QB's ever, started his career off 0 and 11. He never won a game in his first 11 starts. Throwing 18, yes, 18 interceptions and 9 touchdowns. Looking at these stats, you can easily see that Mitch definitely has to be more aggressive, as 7 touchdowns in 12 games is not very good at all. But as you see, he has the awareness of not like throwing as many interceptions as, for example, Troy, Troy Aikman did with 18. The Bears' receiving core has been a massive question mark for years. But this offseason, they tried their best to change that. In free agency, they signed Allen Robinson, a former Jaguar, to a three-year, $42 million deal contract, which had proved to be worthwhile, although he's coming off an ACL injury he sustained in the opener last year. According to SportsInjuryPredictor.com, there's a 52% chance that Allen gets injured at all this season. So that's pretty high. They also stated that they expect him to miss at least one game. Also in free agency, Chicago signed former Eagles tight end Trey Burton, who is most famous for the Philly special in the Super Bowl when he passed it to Nick Foles in the touchdown, for a touchdown. Burton looks to fit well with his team, as Matt Nagy intends to use him lots within this new built offense. The last relevant name the Bears scooped up in free agency was Taylor Gabriel. Taylor had a bit of a down year last year for the Bears as he only caught one touchdown compared to the six touchdowns the year before. But now as the expected slot receiver, he should expect closer to the six touchdown range than just the one. In the 2018 NFL Draft, the Bears traded up to nab Anthony Miller with a 51st pick. This looks to be a good pickup, as he's really done really well this offseason, and hopes to be the wide receiver on the other side of Allen Robertson come season time. After back-to-back 1,100-yard rushing seasons, Jordan Howard will look to make it a third season in a row. Jordan Howard is a power back and can also catch it out of the backfield, but that is mainly Terry Cohen's job. Jordan Howard will look to prove that he belongs back in the Pro Bowl as he missed it last year and made it in his rookie year. Now look at the defense. They picked up Khalil Mack. He is a game changer. He's one of the top five best defensive players in the NFL. And it isn't like they have nothing besides Khalil Mack. Kyle Fuller, rookie Raekwon Smith, Eddie Jackson, and Akeem Hicks, just to name a few. The Bears were excellent on defense last year, posting impressive numbers, such as being ninth in the league in opponents' points per game and tied for seventh in sacks. Now that they had Khalil Mack and his defense could be incredible. This is why I think the Bears will surprise people and maybe even make the playoffs. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, make sure to check out our website, theplaybooksocial.com. I'll see you next time.